Hello everyone and welcome. I'm Alex. I'm the architect for Backfrap and this is episode 2 of the Parse Crash Course. Today we'll be talking about retrieving saved objects from pars, reading properties, update in-memory objects and updating objects in pars. So let's start. As you remember from our episode 1, we have a person object saved in pars. Uh, in order to query for that object, I will instantiate a parse query and pass as parameter the subclass that I'm querying for. So, going to my code, here I have my class person. I'm going to write let query equals new parse.query and pass my class as a parameter. Don't worry too much about the parse query right now. We will have a few episodes only for that in the crash course. Just have in mind that this is how we query for a parse object. So I'm going to have an object called person equals query dot get. The get method will retrieve an object based on its object ID. This is useful when you have to search for a specific object. So, I'll get my object ID from here, I'm going to copy it, and pass it as parameter for my get method. But this is a asynchronous call, and we must wait for a response from the server before printing the object. So, if you're using parse tree, you can use a async function to do that. If you're using parse two, you have to use blocks. I'm using parse tree, so I'm going to write a async async function and give it a good name run and all this code go inside run and then I'm going to run my function and I have to await for a response once I get that person I can read its properties and if you remember from our last video the get method is how I read a property from a object. So console log person dot get and my name and also my age. I'm going to save it. I'm going to go to my terminal and if I type node index.js, here I have my LXK of name and 38 object. I can update in-memory objects uh, just accessing its properties. So I'm going to increment my age. I just have to type person and we have an increment method that will increment a number. Uh, I'm going to pass the property I want to increment, age. And if you want to increment by one, you don't have to pass any number, but if you want to increment and to a number that's not one, you can put a comma and put the number you want. I'm incrementing one, so don't have to pass anything. And I'm going to print it again. So if I go back to my terminal and type node index.js, so I retrieved my age as 38 and I incremented it to 39. If I go back to my Safari and update my code, you'll see it's still 38 here because I incremented the in-memory object. I have to save it if I want to reflect that information in parse. So person dot save. If I run it again, and it's now saved. If I go back to Safari and refresh, here you have 39. But what if we have a, a situation where the updated uh, data is in parse and I have to retrieve it from uh, my code? You can update the data from your code calling the fetch method. So person.fetch will bring the updated version from parse to your in-memory object. This is good, so you can always have the latest version for uh, your object in memory. Uh, Parse is smart enough to send a, a 
update only for the properties that are being changes, changed. So when I call the saved method here, it only sent the age uh, property back to the servers. This is a way to avoid sending too much data unnecessarily back to the server. So this is episode two. I hope you enjoy. I hope you like it. And see you on episode three. Bye-bye.